In this video, I will be talking about how physical reality is constructed, how physical reality is perceived by us. Please stay tuned and watch the video till the end because you're gonna really enjoy what I'm about to share with you guys. First and foremost, please pause the video and check the links of part one, two, and three because it is linked to the previous videos. So, as I mentioned in my previous videos, everything is happening here and now. Everything is happening in your imagination. All moments exist here and now. All timelines exist here and now. What you call the past, what you call the present, what you call the future are happening here and now. Your past is a parallel reality. Your future is a parallel reality. As a matter of fact, each moment is a parallel universe, a parallel reality. Every moment is a complete reality and a completely different universe. For the sake of illustration, I'm going to use a flip book as an example. So, as you can see over here, there are pages over here of a flip book where there's this guy who's going to experience motion. As you can see, there's this is the first page, this is the second, this is the third, this is the fourth, and this is the fifth. Now, if we scroll down and click on play, we will see how this guy is experiencing motion. This is how physical reality is constructed. Each page can be seen as a moment. Now, please understand that these moments in creation, in existence, exist with no sequence whatsoever. Then why do we perceive the moments in a linear sequence? Because if there wasn't a linearity in the sequential format of the events, it wouldn't make sense to us. Existence is nonsensical. Existence doesn't make sense. Existence is meaningless. It's our brain that attracts one event and another event, and another event, and another event in a sequential format. So that we can experience a continuity of events that make sense to us. So, in a sense, our brain contains a diode. What is a diode? For those who don't know what a diode is, in electricity, a diode is placed in a circuit so that the current can flow in one direction only. So let's say if it is placed in this direction, current will flow in this direction so that it cannot flow in the reverse direction. So a diode only allows current to flow in one direction. This is how our brain is constructed. We measure a moment, generally speaking, to be a second, right? One second is equivalent to a moment, right? Generally speaking. Now, in the eyes of creation, as far as physical reality is concerned, a moment is considered to be approximately one billionth of a second. So that being said, there are billions of pages of a flip book in between each second. Please subscribe to my channel if you really enjoyed the video.